How's it going, internet? What's up? <sighs> Gotta get the coffee for the day. <sighs> Just gonna revel in this moment and remember this tonight while I'm working that at least I had a good cup of coffee. Anyways, so guys, today I've got a buddy over. You, you've met him before, JD, the, uh, the media jack. He's right here. And uh, he's got a little bit of something he wants to do here. We're gonna do a couple questions because knowledge is power. So we're gonna do a couple questions based on Canada because Canada Day is coming up. Canada's 150th birthday this weekend. So. 151st birthday. Is it 150? Oh, right, 150. See, I would have failed that question too. My Anyways, so uh, let's get some questions going and see how terrible I'm going to do. This is not off to a good start. So. Yeah. Okay, so hit me. See what we got. <clears throat> I'm going to fail miserably, but let's do it. Okay, so how good is your geography? Terrible. Good. Yay. Now, <laughs> first question. What's the capital of Canada? Toronto. No. Why do I not know this? Why do I not? I know this. But why do I... I literally know this, but why do I? It's Ottawa, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I was, as soon as I said Toronto, my ass not right. I think it's Ottawa. <laughs> no, I don't. And then brain fart. Toronto is the capital of Ontario. Yes. But it's also within driving distance of the capital of Canada, which is Ottawa. Okay. Give that one to you. <laughs> Hardly. Okay. No more geography questions. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Which one of these inventions is not Canadian? I'll give you four. Okay. Okay. Hawaiian pizza. Okay. I know that's Canadian. Wonder bra. Mm -hmm. Five pin bowling peanut butter. Ooh, I. Why do you know Hawaiian is Canadian? I just, I don't know. I just do. Just around. I'm trip. pretty sure peanut butter is Canadian as well. I'm pretty sure five pin bowling is the Wonder Bra is not. Hawaiian is Canadian. Five pin bowling is Canadian. Peanut butter is American. Is it really? It is. Dang. I thought it was Canadian. The Wonder Bra was invented in Canada. Canada is wonderful. Off the top of your head, Word name. Two. Name four. You said off the top of my head. <laughs> yeah, it is the correct answer. Um, name four TV shows filmed in Canada. Arrow. Yes. Thanks, Aaron Harrison, for that one. <laughs> yes. TV shows filmed in Canada. Um, what's the Archie one again? The new one that's on Riverdale. Yeah, it's filmed in Canada. It's in Vancouver as well. Okay. Um, Royal Canadian Air Force was. Technically, yes. <laughs> it's old, but it was. Yes. Uh, let me see what else we got. TV shows, not movies. Right? TV shows. Dang. Really? I'm not big into the uh, where places are filmed or directors or anything like that. Really, to be honest. Okay. Allow me to blow your mind. Sure. Okay. Blow away. Murdoch Mysteries. X Files. X Files was. Can wow. Orphan Black. Killjoys. Trailer Park Boys, Dark Matter. I should have known Trailer Park Boys. Letter Canny, Continuum, uh, Flashpoint, Degrassi, The Next Generation, Dark Angel, Andromeda, Stargate SG One. Oh yeah, I should. have known that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a Stargate fan, but I still should have known that. Yeah. Beachcombers, oh. Littlest Hobo, uh, and also The Flash. Right. Yeah. Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah. Now Supergirl. Yeah. Go f yeah. <laughs> next question. <laughs> but you got Riverdale. Okay. Um, next question. Which one of these bands is not from BC? All four of them are Canadian. Which one of them is not from BC? Okay. Doug and the Slugs, Nickelback, Econoline Crush, and Mariana's Trench. They're all Canadian, but only one of them is not from BC. I don't think Nickelback is, are they? You tell me. Mariana's <laughs> Trench is the only other band I recognize out of those. Okay. And I have no idea where they're from. I have no idea where Nickelback is from either, but I'm, I'm pretty sure if Nickelback was from BC, I would have heard many of people being like, oh, I can't believe they're from BC so many times in my lifetime, so I'm gonna go Nickelback is not from BC. Correct. Yes. Nickelback is from Alberta. That explains a lot. <laughs> Holy crap. That explains a lot. But Doug and the Slugs, Econoline Crush, and even Mariana's Trench are all from BC. Hmm, didn't know that. Ah! Smooth. Hey, been good so far. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I'm not keeping score. <laughs> Moderately, I don't know. True or false, final question. Okay. Okay. Hockey is the official sport of Canada. False. False. Soccer is, isn't it? No, that's the most played sport in Canada, actually. Yes. So yeah, true. It's the official. No, lacrosse is. Shit. I love your thought process. You seeing this? <laughs> I know soccer is the most played sport in Canada. This is true. But I can't recall if the official sport of Canada is actually hockey or not. I, I know I've had many drunk conversations about this before. Right. I'm pretty sure it's lacrosse. Hockey. No, I, I'm gonna say it, it, hockey is. Hockey 
Your answer is a hockey is our official sport, the official sport of Canada. Well, the official sport of Canada is here hold my beer, but yeah. <laughs> hockey is what I'm gonna go with. I think that's the unofficial sport of Canada, really. You had it. It's lacrosse, isn't it? It's lacrosse. Oh, <laughs> I knew it. You should have gone like that. Soccer is the most played sport in Canada. Hockey is the most celebrated sport in Canada. Yeah. Lacrosse is the official sport of Canada. Yeah. yeah. So, what'd you get? I think I was two for five. You two for five? Yes, you were two for five. Can I at least get like a half point for knowing the right answer for the last one, just okay. not selecting it? You got, you got a passing grade. You got a C minus. <laughs> <laughs> Took that in high school, I'll take it now. <laughs> ben, happy Canada Day. Yay. So that was only moderately embarrassing that I couldn't tell you that much trivia about my own country and let alone barely know and couldn't even confidently answer the capital of my own country. Ugh, oh, that's just bad. So, go get the ball. So I want to thank JD, first of all, for challenging me to that trivia. I really got to start reading more books or just uh, all together. Ready? Learning more. Because knowledge is not a bad thing. I certainly do my research and learning on projects that, that interest me. Things like uh, geography, not my strong points. Which got me thinking about YouTube and my research and knowledge on YouTube. It's not very much. I don't know that much. I mean, I know a little, but just enough to get by is probably about all I know. Come on. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? What you, got? you want it? Go get it. She's a brat. Think you can take me? Come on. Come on. Come on. She's got nothing. So what does it really take to actually progress on YouTube and make it on this platform? It's a good question and something I can't really answer. Not yet anyways. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sit down and come up with a list on what it takes to actually become a YouTuber and to make it from a small YouTuber, a content creator who is starting from scratch to someone who can actually make a business out of YouTube. So my next video, I'm gonna have for you guys what I think it takes to become a YouTuber. But until then, I got some work to do. Come on, Charlie, we got work to do. Let's go. See you guys later. Flying from town to town.